Hello, um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Cinema 4D to model a screw and um, let's start okay so the first um, I'm using a senator as the body adjust the radius give it 10 all right and um, you can also increase the height 7 increase 5 okay and then um, I use a oil 10 this is where really the screw top so um, it's a little big so I'm just saying um, reduce the height okay and the radius and um, if you look at in the side wheel, okay, so you can see that um, you may need some more height, okay, or reduce the cap height, okay, so you can see that you got that the um, reduce the curve and um, increase the height of the middle part. So uh, this is the basic shape, and um, I just move it to the top, need to be higher than the cylinder. Um, okay, so here you got a this primitive. Okay, and um, the next thing is you need to connect these two primitive um, to be one polygon. Okay, so the first way is you need to convert this two primitive to added walls. So I select both and press C. Okay, so make it polygon, and then I can connect those two polygons to into one single object. Okay, so make sure you still select two objects, and go to the objects menu here, select objects, and connect. Okay, so number forty, we create new polygon, include all the surface support of that select of materials and for that um select as objects. So um. I can hide this um, two objects. Okay, I just hide it. Okay, so now I just see this polygon. Okay, all right. So next, I need to connect. Okay, this two primitive. But the first thing you need is to remove some of the surface. Okay, especially the cap of the cylinder and a little bit the bottom part of the oil tank. Okay, so I spot to the polygon selection mode. Okay, I first delete the surface of the cap of the cylinder. Okay, so the first way if you, you can select all of this surface or you can use loop selection. Okay, the loop selections will select all the labor um, of the surface okay around of this selection. Okay, you just click once and select all of the surface. Press delete Okay, so delete all the polygon and the top of the cap, and then um, the bottom part of the oil tan. Okay, so you can delete the oil tan. You still using the um, loop selection. You can select the middle part. Okay, of the oil tan. Okay, and delete again. All right. So now I have to delete both the surface is ready to connect but before you connect you can switch to the point edit mode you will see that after you delete the surface cinema 40 will reserve all the points although you can't see the surface you still have the point here okay for later use but in this case I don't want this point anymore I just want to connect these two um, surface together so you can remove all the unnecessary point by you slide it and press delete but this is not a good way to do that the fast way is you can slide all the point okay slide it control a slide all the point and go to the function you have a options core optimize okay to optimize will find any unused point and help you to delete this unused point. 
okay so it's a fast way first then you slide the board and you press delete okay press ok alright so all the points are gone alright so next you just need to connect these two area okay so you need to slide the point only the edge that you want to connect okay you keep it you are I'm still in the loop selection mode so I can slide this point at the same time press shape and slide this okay you slide the point of two edges so it's ready to connect okay so you can use one of the tools in cinema 40 is called stitch okay so here we stitch and so so I just slide it and you slide the point from one of the edge okay and drag okay to the corresponding point okay at the bottom so that's it okay already connect the point is perfectly fit okay the surface I want it so the next thing is I need to adjust the bottom part okay make it more sharper so I'm still using the point edit mode okay the bottom select the only point at the bottom and drag it okay move it downward okay until you got a very sharp okay edge alright so this is the basic shape of your screw 